Now that you have created your account, ensuring your children's birth dates have been entered, you can begin searching for your desired activity. First, you'll need to make sure that you are signed in. You'll see your name at the top of the screen. Select activities from the top menu bar and select the appropriate category. From this general category search, you can narrow your search by entering a keyword and see a full list of activities with a similar name. This will bring you to the activity search screen. You have several options to refine your search. You can search by where the program takes place, when it's taking place, a specific day of the week, a specific semester, or a category of program. On the right, it will bring up a list of activities based on that search criteria. This list will appear alphabetically by default. If you would like to see it listed by date, within the sort box, select Date Details from the drop-down menu. You can also search a specific course by entering the activity code, or you can search for a course name. This will bring up the specific course and some basic information on it. You can add it to your cart from the screen or click on the name of the course to get more details. This screen brings up detailed information about the course including what days it runs, the price, ages, gender, spaces remaining, and registration information. If this activity is full, the Add to Cart button will be grayed out and your only option will be to add to waitlist. It is strongly recommended to register for all activities you are interested in, even those that are full. Your name will be added to a waitlist and if space becomes available, you will be contacted by email to confirm your registration. Waiting lists are carefully monitored and classes are often added if there is sufficient demand. If this activity is not currently open for registration, you can select Add to Wishlist so that when you return to Connect, once registration is available, your list of desired activities will be ready for you to select and complete your registration and payment. Please note that by selecting activities to your wishlist, you have not registered for these activities. You must complete your registration by logging into your Connect account once registration has opened and select your wishlist activities to complete your registration and payment. You can also click on the More Information section to get more details. When you are ready to register, click the Add to Cart button. This first screen will allow you to choose who is registering for the activity from the family members within your account. Click Next after doing this. Next, you'll be asked to enter any additional information the activity may require. The next screen will ask you to confirm pricing information. If you have a coupon code, you can enter it here. When done, click on Proceed to Shopping Cart. The Shopping Cart will show you what activities you are registered for. You can proceed to checkout to pay and finish by clicking on that button, or you can continue shopping by clicking on the tabs above or the links below. In this case, let's add another registration to this transaction. This time we will register for a camp to show you some of the additional steps you may be required to select during registration. If you don't know the activity code, you can search what activities are available by clicking on the button beside the activity name. In the screen, we will see all the activities offered for basketball camp. Again, you can add to your wish list if the course isn't open yet, or add to cart to continue. You can also click in again to get more information. Many activities, such as this camp, have a note section which will highlight key information about the activity. When you are ready, you can add to cart. Again, it will ask you to select the family member you are registering.
This camp registration gives you an opportunity to see all the fields that would be required for a registration of this type. All fields with a red asterisk are mandatory fields, and the others are optional. If you would like to add additional items to your registration, such as the camp post supervision seen here, you can do so by following the instructions and typing the required information into the activation code box. In this case, type Y. Some programs give you the option of paying on a payment plan. To use it, click the Use Payment Plan button, which will bring up the payment plan screen. On the screen, you will see when the payment will be charged to your credit card or online bank account. Click Agree to Payment Plan if you would like to use it. Once done, proceed to Shopping Cart. In your Shopping Cart, you will see all the activities you have registered for and can edit any registrations if needed. If you are ready to pay, click Proceed to Checkout. On the screen, you will need to accept any waivers that apply. Some waivers will require your initials. You can also click on the links for the waiver or attachments to view those waivers. Once all waivers are agreed to, click Next to continue. At the next screen, you'll be asked to enter your payment information. You can either pay by credit card or input your banking information to pay by direct banking in the electronic check section. If you have a payment, the screen will again remind you when the automatic charge will occur on your account. Click Next to continue and this will complete your transaction. You can click View or Print Receipt to see your full receipt. This receipt will be used for tax purposes, so please keep it for your records. You can access it at any time by going to My Account. You have now completed registration for your programs.